With battery-powered portable speakers, it's always about compromises. If you want the speaker to be lightweight, then the woofer is often smaller, but the sound is often compromised. Or, in order to conserve battery life, some speakers may have a reduced power <gasps> when you don't connect it to a main power supply. But what if you could have it all with no compromises? And that's the speaker we're going to look at today, the Evers 12 from Electro Voice. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sheng Li and I'm a performing musician and busker based in Singapore. In this video, we're taking a closer look at the newly launched Evers 12 and we're also going to test it out in the real world to see how it compares against other speakers. It's going to be an exciting video. Let's go! We have the case in the event of rain, right? The speaker is actually weatherproof. So this is the Evers 12 that I have with me here and as you can see, it's not a small speaker, right? And that's because it comes with a 12 inch woofer, okay? And uh, I have to say that for its size, it actually handles pretty well. I mean, I could carry it up fairly easily and it also has two handles, one on the top, right, for you to carry like this or one at the side of the speaker. So you could carry it like a monitor and I love this kickback function because I'm a busker and to have this kickback function, you can be sure to direct your sound in a much better manner. Next, let's see how this compares to some of the other speakers that I own in terms of their size. Yamaha Stage Pass 600i. This is a speaker that I use a lot for events. Comes with a 10 inch woofer. So size wise, the Evers 12 is a little bit taller but weight-wise, they're actually about the same. So you're getting a bigger woofer for about the same weight. The next speaker that I have is actually one of my favorites, and that's the Bose S1 Pro Plus. Woofer is just only about six inches. So this, I believe, comes in at 6.5 kg. So this is a little bit more than twice the weight. I have to admit, the bass response of the S1 Pro Plus, it's its biggest weakness. And that's where the Evers 12 comes in. You get a very lovely bass response and I think across the board it's also much more balanced. So I'm sure many of you also know of the Evers 8. Now when I first saw this speaker, it looks exactly like an Evers 8 but much bigger. And I think that many people who have the Evers 8 actually maybe gave some feedback. Maybe some DJs or some musicians still feel like, I still want more headroom, I still want more bass response and hence, the Evers 12 was born. Really kudos to Electro Voice for listening to customers' feedback and trying to develop such a large format speaker in a portable manner. First impressions with this speaker is that it has a lot of power. There was a lot of clarity and balance. My vocals and my guitar all came across very, very clean. And the battery life is really impressive. At maximum output levels, you can expect to get six hours which is way more than a busking session. So think of a full day event with this, I don't think you will face any issues with that. Going to the back now, you have two inputs with combo jacks and basically means that you can use an XLR or a quarter inch cable. You have a foot switch, which you can use to connect a foot switch to toggle effects, for example, reverb. You have a quarter inch out for to send your mix out to another speaker. Say, for example, if you have another Evers 12 that you want to connect, you could just send this out to there. You also have a Bluetooth connectivity and you also have a 3.5mm uh, jack over here that you could use for an additional input. Operating this is fairly intuitive, right? You turn it on and then you can you basically use this button that you can either scroll or just push it in for different effects. It's very easy to use. The power rating of this speaker is 400 watts and it has a dispersion of 100 degrees horizontal and 100 degrees vertical. So that's pretty good dispersion. And also one plus point for this speaker that's not really existent with other speakers is the water resistance, right? And that basically means that the, the whole speaker is fairly water resistant. And if you put the included plastic cover on, you can basically cover all of this. Granted, yes, when you have the cover on, you cannot plug anything over in this inputs. But if you have just connected to it using Bluetooth, then with that cover, you can basically weather a, a drizzle, right? And this speaker will be fine. 
And that's it for the specs. The most important thing is how it sounds in the real world. So let's take a look. Okay, so I finally got here. We're at Orchard Road in Singapore. This is the speaker that I have. It doesn't look so big on camera, but real life is quite big, you know. Look at this, it's like quite big. So my setup is fairly simple. I have my busking stuff over here. This is the speaker. I have the mic going into channel one. I have the guitar going into channel two. And I use a foot switch to toggle the reverb on and off, right? And then this is what my guitar chain looks like. Uh, it goes into the DI first and then comes out of the loop pedal, right? So I can play some uh, percussion, right? And I use the X Vive wireless thing so my guitar can be essentially wireless. Kick back. Your audience will be able to hear you much better, especially here at Wisma where you know the audience are all seated in the stairs over there. Let's power everything on and see how it sounds. Your every outline 
You can take me anywhere And you're making me feel like I'm loved by somebody But you can still hear him very clearly. Right? So the dispersion is still is still quite good. It's supposed to be 100, 100 degrees of the horizontal dispersion. Right? What about if I go wider? You can still hear very good. And look at the crowd, they are enjoying it. Look at the crowd, amazing crowd. Okay, this is where at this angle he gets you, you start to not be able to hear him clearly because you're beyond the 100 degree horizontal dispersion right but once you enter into the 100 degree zone again that's where you begin to be able to hear him there we go now and my friend is playing over there, Corinne Wong. We're gonna test out the Evers 12 against the speaker that she's using which is the Bose S1 Pro. Let's see how the two speakers matches up. What an interesting street test. So here's my thoughts. The pros of the Evis 12 is very, very clear. With the large woofer, you get a very good depth of sound. There's a lot of detail that's preserved across the spectrum. The dispersion is actually very, very good as well. And you have a very balanced and neutral sound with good clarity. So in a larger outdoor space, for example, when Gabriel and I were playing at Wisma, the Evis 12 was the clear winner. No need to fight because you know, you needed that horizontal and vertical dispersion to cover that area. And with the Evers 12, just one speaker was good enough to power that whole space and everybody in the audience could enjoy you. However, in a smaller space or a smaller setup, say for example for Corinne at Haogang, when she was playing with just keyboard and vocals, actually the Bose S1 Pro was already pretty good enough. And that's because Haogang, there was a ceiling that was about maybe five meters high. And uh, you know, it also wasn't a very big space. So for that case, the Bose S1 Pro actually, it was sufficient already. Of course, the Evers 12 more than delivered. It gave a vocal much more presence. Uh, but in that case, of course, you have to think about her having to carry such a heavier uh, speaker and she may not want that. But for somebody who doesn't mind the weight and they want, again, no compromises, then maybe the Evers 12 is a better pick. I also really like the Electro Voice app and I think being able to mix with an app with Bluetooth is so useful because when I was at Wisma, I could be standing in front of the speakers in the audience position and mix according to that. It's much more accurate than if I were to stand beside the speaker. The cons of the speaker, I really have just three. Number one is the obvious, the weight. At 14 kg, actually for the sound, it's not a unfair price to pay, right? For the sound, I really think that it is worth it if you don't mind it. But if you're like me, sometimes traveling on public transport, then the Evers 12 is a pretty much a no-go, right? It's very difficult to carry something like that on public transport. The other big con is the inputs. Electro Voice, why did you decide only to put two inputs on it? 
if you had put three or maybe four, this would be a speaker that I can very, very, very highly recommend for multi-piece bands because I'm fairly confident that with this sound profile, for a multi-piece band, you may just need only one speaker to carry it and that's so beneficial. But of course, you could use a portable mixer, something like the Zoom Lifetrack L8 uh, is something that can help you uh, mitigate this as well. The last thing is a personal preference. I do feel that the Evers uh, sound signature is very flat, right? It's very balanced and very neutral, but that also makes for a less exciting sound, right? So something like the Bose, right out of the box, is already pretty much EQ'd and uh, suitable for, um, you know, acoustic singers like myself. I think the Evers requires a little bit more tuning, but you do have that flexibility to tune according to what you want. So if you know how to do that, for example, like boosting the highs, reducing the lows a little bit uh, in order to get your sound, with the Evers 12, you have much more flexibility. So that's a con a bit for me, but for somebody that's, um, you know, maybe a bit better with the sound or wants that customization, then the Evers 12, that could be a pro. So in conclusion, who is this for? I think this is for musicians that want no compromises. They just want the best sound possible. They don't mind a little bit of weight, especially for musicians that want a better bass response. Say for example, bassists, um, guitarists like myself can benefit from more bass response. And I also think it's very suitable for DJs. And with that weather cover, you basically have a weatherproof outdoor speaker without batteries. That's amazing that you can take to events uh, and you know have no compromises on the sound. You get the best sound as if it were a powered speaker. I think for rental companies, it's also a good buy. It's a little bit more expensive than powered speakers, but it allows you to do many outdoor events where there's no power anywhere near. So if you're a smaller uh, rental company and you don't want to have that many speakers, maybe some Evers 12 speakers might be good for you. Alright, so that was a bit of a longer video, but I hope you learned a lot about the Evers 12 speaker. If you have any further questions about the Evers 12, don't be shy, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them when I can. And you can also check out some of my other gear reviews, which I think are useful for musicians as well. Thanks a lot for watching Guitar Street and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.